So about a month ago, I decided to order a GTX 960 off of Wish.com. Now, I have no idea whether this is going to... No, no that's, that's out of bollocks. I'm well aware that this is not going to be a real GTX 960. It cost me £30 on Wish. So I'm well aware it's not going to be real. But that does not mean that today we are not going to be having a look at it properly. In fact, maybe, maybe tell you what, maybe I will be surprised. Maybe it will be a real GTX 960, but I highly doubt that. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be sticking it straight into my computer and having a look if it can actually do anything at all. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to blow up my computer. I really hope it doesn't because that really... I, I, I've had to pay out a lot of money to fix my car recently and I do not want to have to be paying to fix my computer as well. Okay, so if you have never, ever, ever seen a graphics card box before, this is what they usually look like. I know you can't see me now. Hello, I'm still here. But this is what a graphics card box usually looks like, okay? Now, that's quite a large graphics card, granted. However, it's fairly standard packaging. They tend not to look like this. You know, still advertising Windows 7 compatibility as a feature. That's not something we do anymore. That's, that's old school. It's 2018 now. We've had Windows 8 and now we're on Windows 10. Okay? Windows 7 compatibility is not a feature. Especially not a feature that was ever featured on the GTX 960. Okay, yes, GTX 960s work on Windows 7. But no one advertised it on the damn box. Okay, so I'm taking a look at this packaging right now. And I have one serious question about it. I'm going to read you a little bit of text off the back of the box here, okay? So it says, oh, this is in one, in one paragraph, it says, Dedicated NVIDIA GeForce GPU, grass detail is clear and water shows realistic reflections and ripples. Okay, it's, you know, it's an interesting thing to put on the box, but okay, fine. Now, in a paragraph right next to that, it says the following. Basic integrated graphics, grass detail is fuzzy and water shows no ripples. So, first paragraph says it shows realistic ripples. Second paragraph says it shows no ripples. Mm, okay, this really is not giving me a lot of confidence for an actual GTX 960 inside this box. Not much at all. So, I reckon it's probably about time that we open up this box and have a look at what's actually inside. Okay, so, if we open this up... Ooh, well, we have bubble wrap, that's a nice start. Okay, so, bubble wrap. We have an anti-static bag, that's, that's nice, I suppose. Okay, well, it's a good start. There's an actual graphics card. We have a, a real graphics card with a PCB and everything. It's not just a cooler. That's fantastic, it actually has a PCB. That's the very first start, and I, I hit the fucking graphics card. Right, graphics card has been hit on the tripod, but it was, I think I think I hit the cooler, so it should be okay. It might just might be a little bit hot. No, no. In all seriousness, it should be fine. Um, so if we have a look at the back of the graphics card here, we have got some Samsung memory chips. So it actually is actually using, uh, by the looks of it, it's, yeah, it's using actual Samsung GDDR5 modules, and it's got four one gigabyte modules. So that would suggest that it is actually running. 4 gigabytes of GDDR5, but we will have to verify that at some point because, let's be honest, I don't believe it. I don't believe for a second when this has 4 gigabytes of GDDR5, it was £30. I'm pretty sure a 1 gigabyte module of that costs £10 on eBay, I think. I might be completely wrong there, but I'm, I'm pretty certain that's how much that costs. But you can see on the back there, it has got a sticker that does say GTX 960. And that is the only reference to GTX 960s anywhere on the box or on the graphics card. Just that one sticker. That is it. Nowhere else at all. I've just looked inside the box again. Right. It came with a driver installation CD. That's fine, right? Most graphics cards come with a driver installation CD. However, most NVIDIA graphics card driver installation CDs tend not to have AMD Radeon graphics written on them, right? That's a direct competitor. Granted, yeah, it has NVIDIA on there as well, but it also has AMD Radeon. You can't have both. Well, I suppose technically you can have both, but if you're selling a GTX 960, why would you give me both on the same CD? It's, it's not right, right? This is... So basically what I'm assuming is, is whoever sells these or whoever makes these is selling 
both Nvidia graphics cards and Radeon graphics cards. They're both fake, but they're using the same CD for both of them. So it's got both of the logos printed on the on the uh, CD. I don't even have a CD drive. I can't I can't test it. I don't have a CD drive. But I'm really curious as to know what's on here. So if any of you guys have purchased one of these off a of Wish and you have a CD drive, please do let me know what's on this CD. I'd like to know if it's actually drivers or whether it's just a blank CD. Okay, so the obvious next step is to uninstall my GTX 1070, which is currently in my rig, and install this GTX 960. So obviously, first step is to take off the side panel of the NZXT H440. So we're gonna delicately place it over here because it's acrylic and it scratches really easily. And take off this little guy. I got this guy in a loot crate a few years ago. I have no idea who he is, so if anyone knows what this character is, please let me know, I'd really like to know. He's got a shotgun, if that helps. He's got a little shotgun. Okay, right, so, how tight did I do my thumb screws? Apparently not very tight at all, that just fell out straight in my hand. Should probably be more careful with those. Okay. Well, the, other, the, the other thumb screw I did definitely be much tighter. So if we disconnect the power cable, you should probably also bear in mind to turn off the power supply whilst you're doing this. It's usually advisable. If I can find the switch. There we go, that power supply turned off. Okay, so this is my GTX 1070 in comparison to the random Chinese GTX 960. Small bit of a size difference, but that would be to be, that's what be expected between a high-end GTX 1070 and a low-end GTX 980. So that's not really too much of a surprise. So I just pop that down there. I'm gonna go ahead and install this inside my computer and hope that hopefully nothing blows up. Well, that's the first good sign. It's in and nothing has combusted. Okay, so that is all plugged in. Power supplies back on. Now let's see if it explodes. The moment of truth. Okay. Ignore the uh, that sound because that's perfectly normal for this computer. I've I've broken one of the fans, so ignore that. It will die down in a second. However, you can see both of the fans on the graphics card are spinning, but we are yet to have any sort of output. Okay, right, we do have an output on, if I rotate the camera around, we have an output on this monitor. Oof. This is a. Uh, let me just close everything down. Well, that is certainly not 1080p, is it? <laughs> okay, so let's have a look. Display settings. So it is recommending 1024 by 768. And it doesn't even give us an option for 1080p. So I'm going to go ahead and install some drivers and then see where we get with that. Okay, so with the latest drivers installed, we've actually managed to get it working on both of my monitors and it's now running in native 1080p. I didn't even have to change it, it automatically updated, which is really nice. So we actually now know that this graphics card does technically work as a video output. Now we just need to verify that it, A, is it a GTX 960? And B, can it handle any games? Because let's be honest, that's what most of us really want to know here. Can I game on a £30 GTX 960? So with Specky loaded up, we can actually see that the graphics card is identified as a GTX 960. Now that can mean one of two things. The first of which is that this is actually a genuine GTX 960. The second of which, the more likely of the two, is that this is a crappy old video card which has had GTX 960 firmware flashed onto it. 
and that, which means it does actually believe it's a GTX 960. However, it is recognizing all four gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, which is quite impressive actually, considering this card only cost 30 pounds. So what we're gonna do here is we are gonna put this graphics card through a pretty intensive test for it. We're gonna run 3D Mark Time Spy, and we're gonna have a look at the results, and if it fares well, then fair enough, this graphics card could well in fact be worth your money. But I'm not expecting that to be the case at all. I'm expecting this to crash almost immediately. So we're just gonna press run and see how it does. So obviously it's not going to crash at this stage because at this point it's just working out, oh, what hardware do you have inside this computer? Once it actually gets into the sort of animation that it shows you, that's when I'm expecting it to either crash or to start artifacting or anything. Oh, okay, black screen. Okay, well, that, uh, it didn't crash, it's fine. It's just decided to go for a black screen for a second. Okay, yeah, so that did just crash instantly. It scored a grand total of zero. Uh, it, so as you can see up in the corner up here, we did have an error occur. So that would be the first indication that this graphics card is perhaps not what it claims to be. We're going to see if we can run some games and see what happens. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It's quite an old game running the Source Engine, so it should be sort of fine for a GTX 960. Even for an older graphics card, it should be able to run okay. So here we're just going to see. If this game doesn't run, then we know for certain that this cannot be a real GTX 960. Okay, we do have a bit of a black screen there. Oh, and another one. Okay, that's, see, that's not normal. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be doing this. Which uh, does worry me. Does worry me just a little bit. Okay, now I am terrible at Counter-Strike. So... <laughs> And I've got a camera in front of me, so I'm not even sat at my desk properly. Um, yeah, so, okay, here we go. Okay, well, we're currently running at 48 FPS, which isn't terrible. Um, tell you what, so far, for a graphics card, which I certainly was not expecting much from, this is all, oh, right, okay, hmm. Right, well, I'm assuming everyone just saw that. Now, it wasn't just my eyes, but the game has now completely frozen. And I don't know if you saw what happened with the graphics there. That, to me, looks like it ran out of video memory. So, what I believe has happened is the graphics card believes it actually has 4GB of GDDR5, when in reality, it has much less than that. So, when it tries to sort of utilize all 4GB, it will end up overwriting something that it has already written to and has ended up essentially not having the graphics that it thinks it has already loaded when it goes to use them. And so the game has completely crashed at this point, there is nothing I can do, so escape is not working, none of my inputs are working, uh, I imagine that I can do control shift escape and open up task manager, I hope, control alt delete, no, no nothing, so it would look like this has already crashed my entire system. It is not posing well for this supposed GTX 960. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, make sure you follow at RMDTech. I'm always posting loads of gaming builds, and if you send in your own, I'll try to feature it on the page. Now, earlier today, I posted a live poll to see how many of you guys thought that the GTX 960 that I ordered and am now looking at today was going to be real or fake. 66% of you, it looks like you're going to be correct because you all said that it was fake. Whereas 34% of you are off your fucking nut and think that it's real. No idea why you'd think that, I even told you it was only £30, but still for some reason you thought it was going to be a real GTX 960. So, anyway, we're going to find out and prove once and for all that this is not a GTX 960 by taking it apart and seeing what is going on underneath the hood. Okay, so with my iFixit toolkit in hand and my magnetic project mat, we're going to be taking this apart now. Now, I quite really like using these magnetic project mats because you can just sort of keep all your screws nice and tidy and it also comes with a nice little pen so you can label everything that you know, so you know what you're doing. Okay, so, if you open up our toolkit, we find ourselves a nice Phillips head. Let's get disassembling. Got 
wrong head. Wrong head. But it's fine because I've got 56 of them. Because it's an iFixit 56 bit driver toolkit. Okay, there we go. That one's working. So, what can we remove now? Everything. <laughs> There's just four screws that we need to take that apart. Okay, so if all we do need to do now is disconnect the fan. Be careful with this cable because it's quite a delicate cable. Come on. Yeah, you can. Okay, there we go. So this is the graphics card. The rest of it is actually just a cooler. So we just set this down here. Have a look at the thermal paste. This is not high quality stuff, right? Have a look at the thermal paste on there. That is not a very good application of thermal paste. Now, I can't see quite what that is without removing some of that thermal paste. So if I can find some wipes or something, or a bit of paper, I might be able to have a proper look. Okay, so I've nicked myself a little bit of paper, and we're just gonna wipe off some of this thermal paste and have a look what is underneath. Ideally, you would not want to be using this, okay? This is not an ideal situation. Okay, so, it doesn't actually have a model number on here. However, we do have some numbers, which I imagine will probably be Googleable. So if you have a look at that, I'm gonna do a quick Google search to find out what some of those numbers mean. Camera probably didn't focus, so you probably can't see any of those. But I'm gonna look those numbers up, and I'm gonna get back to you and let you know what this graphics card actually is. Okay, so I have looked up the numbers that are on the die of the graphics card, and it does turn out that this is indeed not a GTX 960. Can you guess what it is? Probably, it's probably quite easy. This is a GTX 560. That is what is under here, but it has been flashed with the firmware of a GTX 960, so it actually thinks it's a 960, not a 560. So that is a big difference, 560 to a 960. That's uh, three generations because they skipped the eighth generation for some unknown reason. But um, what that's effectively saying is I'm now paying £30 for a GTX 560, which thinks it's a 960, which makes it completely worthless because it means it can't actually do anything but a 560 can. Is this worth your money? No. Don't buy it. <laughs>